As with most four wheel drive tourer builds, our Ford Ranger is going to need some dependable power, 12 volt and 240, as well as running fridges and camp lights while we're traveling. Our photography crew's got some pretty heavy demands for power. We need to be able to charge drones, we need to be able to charge laptops, we need to be able to charge camera gear each evening while in camp. We need to meet those demands while preserving the vehicle's starting battery so there's something under the bonnet when we twist the key the next day. To do this, of course, we need a dual battery management system, which most people are familiar with. Australia's Red Arc has been a leader in this technology for the last 40 years, so it was pretty much a no-brainer for us to turn to the Adelaide-based company for everything we need in the Ranger. So, let's take a look at what's inside. To explain our Ford Ranger's system's capability to us, to show us what it's all about, is Red Arc's Cameron Bleakley. What do we have, Cameron? Well, GT, the heart of any dual battery system is the charger. Now with the Ranger, we're running the Manager 30, which is actually a three-in-one battery charger. So three different inputs that we can have running into this, this Manager. So what are they? So we've got vehicle, of course. So yes. while you're driving the Ranger, you want to be charging your batteries, but 240 as well. So before you go on your trip, if you're at home or if you're at a powered site. Yeah, like you can... shore power in a caravan park, for instance. Exactly right. You can plug straight into the wall and your batteries will be charged, ready to go for the next morning. And of course, solar as well. So the battery management system is only one component of the total system that we're using in the back of the Ranger. We're actually using the Red Vision system. So the Red Vision system consists of the battery management system's charger. So that takes care of charging our batteries from those three inputs. But it also comes with a distribution box, which we can see up on the wall there. The distribution box has all the wiring in our electrical system wired into it. So all our electrical circuits, such as the fridge, the lighting, the water pump, anything electrical you want to run goes straight into that distribution box. The third main component of the system is the screen. Now through the screen, we can see our battery information. We can do water tank levels. You can measure up to six different water tank levels and also complete control of your electrical system. So rather than having multiple switches, a couple of gauges for your water tanks, a battery management system gauge as well, the Red Vision incorporates all these things into one very easy to use screen. So it's like the hub of the system, yeah, the that's centre correct. of the wheel. That's right, so you can visually see everything through the screen and control everything through the screen as well. You can even remotely control your inverter and get feedback from the inverter as well. So it'll tell us exactly how many volts are coming out your inverter and how many watts as well. So for you guys, when you're out plugging in your camera batteries, you can see, can I keep adding more batteries to my inverter? Can it handle it? it'll tell you exactly on this screen how many watts are actually being used. Well, that'll keep the crew happy. Yeah, absolutely. Once again, it's all about being able to manage your system. So a bit of a run through on the Red Vision screen itself. The main battery information will come up for you here, which is a state of charge. As you can see, the battery we've got at the moment is 99% state of charge, and we're flattening this battery, and we've got about one day until we run out of power. So if we wanna know where this power is coming from and where it's going to, we simply scroll across and it gives us a layout of exactly how much current is coming out of the charger. Currently we have 1.4 amps, which equates to 23 watts of solar, is what we're generating at the moment. I'm sitting in the shade currently, so the solar panel hasn't got a great deal of light on it. So that will result in 3.6 amps coming out of the battery, because I'm currently draining the battery by 5.2 amps. So you can see, using these figures, you can really figure out how much power you're using and how much power you're actually generating. So you don't have to watch this screen all day long because it is actually logged for you, so you can look back on how much power you've used and how much power you've generated. This can happen per hour. You can look exactly how far you took your battery down and how far you charged it per hour, but also per day and of course solar as well. So you can see how many watts of solar you've generated per day. This system also has the ability to monitor up to six water tanks. In this system we've got here, we've got two water tanks fitted at the moment. We can also control and monitor our inverter remotely from the screen. So if we scroll across, we can turn on the inverter. It will tell us exactly how many volts that it's putting out and also how many watts are being used. So we can really use this system to figure out, can we actually turn that additional 240 volt accessory on? The system will also monitor two temperatures for us. These are displayed at the top of the screen. These can be used for 
inside air temperature, outside air temperature, possibly fridge temperature, whichever um, temperature you wish to monitor. So the Red Vision also can isolate these channels for us. So as you can see, I've turned a few of these electrical loads on. Let's say I'm going to go out for the day and I just want to make sure that I haven't left anything on that's going to be draining power. I can double tap the bottom of the screen to activate the isolator. This will then lock out all the channels so I can't even accidentally bump them to turn them on. It switched everything off except for my fridge. Now I've programmed it to do it that way so I don't want to have come back at the end of the day and my fridge not be running. When I return to camp, I simply double tap the bottom of the screen again. Everything that I'd left on before has now come back on for me. The system can also isolate based on state of charge. So the worst thing you can do is flatten your battery. This system can be programmed to switch channels off at a certain level. So you can choose at exact what state of charge you want to allow your battery get to get down to. So not only can you completely monitor and control your system from the Red Vision screen, you can also do it via the Red Vision app. Simply whip out your phone, connect it up to your system, and everything will be displayed on your phone. So your battery information will come up for you, your water tank levels are there for you as well, and of course, the power moving around the system. How much is coming out of the charger, how much is going to run the electrical loads, plus what the result is on the battery. You can monitor your batteries, but also you've got complete control. So I can actually remotely turn everything on in the back of this vehicle to operate. I can also isolate from here as well. Once again, if I'm gonna go out for the day, simply press that button, isolates all our channels. So there's no chance of accidentally leaving the water pump on and bumping the hose while you're driving and you get to your site and your water tank's completely empty because all the channels are locked out except for my fridge that will remain on. Once I want to remove isolator, simply press the button and everything comes back on for me. So this is a great system for when you might come into camp maybe after dark. You just want to be able to turn your exterior lights on. All you do is pull your phone out and you can operate your lighting system. A great feature of this system is to be able to monitor your batteries, for example, while you're driving. So you make sure you haven't left the Anderson plug out and everything's charging nice and sweet. While you're sitting in the car, you can bring up the app, pop the phone on the dashboard and actually monitor your batteries. See how long it's going to take to get them charged and how much they're actually charging by. You can use this for solar as well. So once you plug your solar in, you just want to make sure that it is actually charging and by how much, this will give you all that information. So we've got some pretty grunty lithium batteries on board the Ranger to, to support the, the power needs we've got. Um, obviously your gear is, is capable of charging and maintaining um, special batteries? Yeah, absolutely. So each battery needs to be charged differently. Lithiums are a special type of battery and they do require a special type of charge. The management system that we're running with the Ranger is capable of charging all different battery types. It has different battery specific charge profiles. Simply set the manager to that and they'll charge those batteries exactly what they were designed to be charged at. And another terrific thing about all this is the fact that you guys um, research and development and manufacture in Australia. Yeah, that's right. So not only are the products manufactured in our South Australian facility, but they're also designed, developed, tested, everything happens in-house, which makes for the absolute best product. When the guy that's designing the product is sitting in the same building as the manufacturing happens, and the testing, along with our tech support that help out our existing customers, it gives our customers the absolute best product possible. So if it can handle an Aussie desert trip, it's got to be uh, <laughs> pretty good gear. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have our full test and validation um, facilities on site at Red Arc Factory, but also being located in Australia, we know what it takes to build a product that's able to handle the harsh environment that we have in this country. Well, that's all pretty good news for us with our little Ford Ranger. We've got uh, plenty more adventures um, planned for this vehicle. So uh, Cameron, thank you very much for your time. No worries. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it.